In this video, I'll be upgrading my ESXi from 6.5 to 6.7. It's important to note that this is a lab environment, so I'll be doing things that uh, maybe wouldn't be best for a production environment. I also won't be covering things that you do prior to the upgrade, like checking the drivers and whatever else might need to be done. So be sure that you reference whatever documentation needs to be referenced if you're going to be performing the upgrade yourself. Again, I'm doing this in a lab environment, so this is primarily um, for people that will also be doing upgrades in a lab environment as well. The first thing I did is um, I shut down my virtual machines up here, you can see. I have these shut down and I'll go back to the host. I'm going to put this into maintenance mode. And now I'm going to shut down the host. I'll go back to uh, Cisco Integrated Management Controller, which is also called SimC. So I'll be saying SimC throughout the rest of the video. And I'm going to launch KVM using the HTML based KVM. You can see that there's no signal and that's because the, um, the host is shut down. What I want to do is go to virtual media and activate virtual devices. And now I'm going to map a CD slash DVD and I will choose my 6.7 ESXi. And it's important to note that I'm using the custom underscore Cisco ISO. And now that that's mapped, I can go to the boot device and choose my virtual media disc which will be used only one time on the next boot only. So we'll say okay, and I'll power on the machine. Once the machine starts to power on, it's going to do its hardware checks, and then it's going to go and find the uh, operating system. All of that can take a pretty long time. So at any point in my recording, that's going to take a long time, and there's nothing really interesting that I'll be doing, I'll, make, I'll continue the recording, but I'll increase the playback speed so that people can see the upgrade in its entirety, but I'll have it play back faster so that you don't have to sit here for an hour watching paint dry. With that being said, this is going to be the first part where I increase the playback speed and we kind of fast forward into what we need to do next. So at this point, I need to choose whether I want to boot from the local disk or if I want to boot using the installer here. And it says automatic boot in one second. So it went ahead and now it's loading the operating system and it's going to be loading the operating system from the installer. So now I'll go ahead and increase the playback speed because this takes actually a considerable amount of time. And uh, I'll go back to normal playback once we reach a point where we need to do something again. So the installer is loaded now and we're at the point where it's going to ask us if we want to continue. I will hit enter to continue and now I'll hit F11 to accept the end user license agreement. At this point it's scanning for available devices such as the uh, hard drives that are on the, the UCS, virtual drives, um, the ES, the Cisco Flex Flash, which are the SD cards, 
on the system or even this USB that I have plugged in here. And the USB is where I'm running my ESXi 6.5. So I'm going to select that as the device to, um, as you can see here, to install or upgrade. It says this will take a few moments, but it's actually not too long. It's relatively quick. So here we have the option to select if we want to install or if we want to upgrade. I'm going to select upgrade. And it says that it's gathering system information. This may take a few moments. What will happen eventually is the install, the upgrade will actually go through right here where we hit 11, F11. And um, this upgrade part doesn't really take too long, but uh, it takes long enough that I'm going to increase the playback speed. And it also, the system, the UCS will go through a power cycle, do all of its hardware checks and do the ESXi uh, booting of the op the operating system, which all of that part takes more time than the ESXi upgrade, I believe. So now it lets us know that the upgrade is completed and it also asks that we remove the installation media before rebooting. Something important to note here though is that um, when we selected the boot device, it let us know that the selected drive was going to be used one time only on the next reboot. So we don't have to actually remove any installation media given the uh, approach that we took. I'll just hit enter for it to go through with the reboot. So now the system is booted up and we can see that it's using 6.7. The, the IP address is um, dot .111, which is what it was before as well. And you can see the virtual machines are still here. We want to take this out of maintenance mode. And of course, I need to put on licenses, I need to do my networking and everything else, but that's not the point of the video. The point of this video is just to show how I go about upgrading ESXi um, on my UCS using KVM and the virtual drives approach. If there's anything that you do differently when you're upgrading your ESXi host, uh, please comment below and let us know what that is. Again, thank you for watching and uh, please like, share and subscribe. And in a later video, I'll be covering how to build out a whole UCS in preparation for building a CCIE collaboration lab.